Hey, we're Josh plus Loretta. I'm Josh, I'm a realtor. And I'm Loretta, a designer. We met at an open house and been together ever since. Now we invest in real estate and we're taking you along for the ride. So we bought a dump trailer. Why did we buy a dump trailer? <laughs> so in this video, we're gonna break down for you what a dump trailer is, why we thought we could use it, why we bought this one, the price we got it at, and other ways we can use it. So before we bought all kinds of tools, but this is actually our first machine purchase. It's a 2013 uh, Brymar 6x10 trailer. So you got six feet by 10 feet. It's a dumpster alternative on wheels. With the hydraulic lift. So really you can load it up with a bunch of weight and it will, with the press of the button, lift up for you, which is awesome. Yep. So why did we start looking? Typically every time we do a project, we use at least three or four trailers that are about 15 yards. Um, dumpsters. Yeah, dumpster trailers that get dropped off. And you know, there's always dumpster fees, overweight charges, um, time limits, things like that. Mm -hmm. And we thought of a better idea. Mm -hmm. So it really gets expensive quick. So if you have four dumpsters, they say it's gonna cost 450 for like two tons. But then we're always at like three and a half tons. And every dumpster usually costs us like 650. And with flips, there's always surprises, right? So you open up a wall, maybe you have to take down more stuff than you expected. So you never really know, maybe you need more dumpsters than you thought. Mm -hmm. So we, we noticed that the, the need for a dumpster was increasing. What made us think about getting it was the credit card bill. <laughs> so every time I saw a dumpster charge, I was like 650, 575. And I'm like, I already spent $1,500 on two dumpsters and I still got a bunch of other stuff to go dump and I'm like, you know, maybe that's another way. For a month he was kind like, of like, we should look into it, let's get a dump trailer. And I was like, I really don't want to. We are laying the ground. I think every other it. day I was like, you know what would be handy right now? A dump trailer. A dump trailer. Part of why we started looking too was that we were waiting for a dump trailer. Yeah, probably two weeks. And it was holding up our company. projects. So we were like, if we yeah. just had a trailer, we can get this cleared out. And that was yeah. like a huge part of it was we were just frustrated with the wait time and on yeah, other you, people. Yeah, you guys know. So, you know, you're doing a project, now you kind of form little piles around the house. So it's kind of like <laughs> in, in the way of, yeah, there's little piles back here, but we're gonna unload that. Yeah. But you have little piles around the house and it just gets in the way. I came around to the idea. But we find it. It was actually off of Facebook Marketplace. Well, first we looked at a dealership. We saw something yeah. that seemed up our alley, the what we were looking for. We knew roughly the dimensions of what we wanted for sort of. where to park it and the yeah. size we typically need. And that's kind of like was our main thing, was looking at the size. And then from there, we narrowed down features. Basic, just trailer. Smaller too. With a hydraulic lift, brand new, was... 7,000? That was 7,200 7, trailer. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, plus taxes, taxes fees, uh -huh. um, registration. Yeah. All, the, all that like good the stuff. Out the door fee was like 8,200. So keep that in mind. So yeah. basically for 6,200, we got the trailer, the wood slats, and other stuff. Yeah. So some of the features that I really loved and the reason I was like, it's a good deal. Let's just get, let's just get it. Because <laughs> At that point, you know when you see a good deal. So um, <clears throat> this one, one thing I love, the doors, you swing open and they automatically click in place. Right. That was huge. That's I, we saw a lot of videos where people have to chain them up and do all yep. this stuff. And this like, they stay in place, they don't swing open. They're really great. Um, <clears throat> it makes it easy when we're unloading. Another thing we loved about it was that it also came with the, the mesh covering. Yeah, it came with the tarp yeah, and the tarp that was mechanism. Yep. So that's about 350. Only asking 6,700. And he kind of talked himself down because it should get new tires at some point. So they the were battery kinda... was dead when we got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, with the dump trail, you want to make sure the battery works. But he had it uh, charged up for us on a little trickle charger. Because um, obviously, that's the main thing. Make sure it lifts up. For sure. But doing the research, there's basically three things you want to look at when buying a dump trailer, which is the frame, the tires, and the rust. So this trailer was actually pretty good for 2013. On top of that 6,200, because once again, I never owned a trailer, never owned anything like this, um, but he gave us a ball and hitch. Mm -hmm. So basically everything to get me going. Yeah. He gave me a ball and hitch, he gave me two wheel chocks. Basically everything to use it the next day. Some things we did Thanks. buy in addition, 
um, just to kind of, you know, peace of mind and things like that, because we do plan on leaving this on the job site, we bought a ball lock. So whenever we disconnect it, right. we can lock it up so that no one can steal a trailer. Um, and we'll put in some Amazon link. But yeah, we bought yeah. the ball lock. We bought the hitch lock, which is also a heavy duty pin that you can lock in place. Right. Um, and we bought the... Also a, a receiver lock. So the receiver that goes into the truck, there's a lock, there's a pin that usually goes through the hitch. That's also locked. Oh, that's what I meant. That's a receiver lock. Oh. Yes. Um, because we bought it with a dead battery, one of our concerns, well, you know, keeping in mind that batteries do die, we bought a solar charger yeah. so that it would have a constant trickle. Where we're going to keep it, it's in a lot of sunlight, and we knew that that would be just an easy perk because it it's a good. metal box. It has yeah. magnets, so it snaps right to the top. Very easy. And um, it automatically sticks up so that it's easy to um, use your remote. But also with my, my truck, it's a heavy duty 2500 Ram. Um, and it had the connector in the back, but it didn't have the electronic brake um, system built in. So I actually had to go to Amazon to purchase that too. Yep. It was like 50 bucks, but you seriously need that, if, especially yeah. if you're gonna haul anything with any kind of weight. Even just the trailer in general is like 2200 pounds. So you definitely want to be able to stop. So that was like 50 bucks and that activates the brakes on the trailer, which is like, you need that. So let's talk about using it. Um, today, we actually, for the first time, used the dump trailer at the that. dump. We did household projects and we would load up the truck bed, which we have an eight foot bed, so it was great. We had a lot of space to work with and we would haul a bunch of stuff to our local landfill and dump it ourselves. Right. But we were always pretty jealous of the people parked next to us so who jealous. were just like lifting up their beds and Seriously. You know, hauling it out of there, and it just all releases. And for us, we're sitting in the back with brooms and rakes, Coming like in, in the midst of it. You broke back, you broken. What a, a vertebrae, or actually back then, um, open the open the gates. Mm -hmm. Roll and back lock, the mesh. Lock them in. Roll down the mesh, or ro roll up the mesh, um, and then just tiptoe yep. next to the little box and hit a button. And it goes up 45 degrees or whatever slides right out and then you have to pull up a little bit because things get uh, kind of clustered in the back. That's just how yep. they work. Um, so you gotta pull it forward and probably in and out three minutes. Yep. Push the down button. We have the gravity release. So, you know, it slowly drops. Game changer. And then we're in and out. We were like, this is the first time we didn't wear yeah. gloves. Yeah, no gloves. No um, gloves. Yeah, it was really. Easy. Benefits of the dump trailer are of course, hauling trash to the dump. Keep on working way more efficient use it sparingly also if Versus. you're if you're a diyer who does a lot of install in your own house you get tons of material you can get mulch you can get stone and yeah. rock and get things actually put into your dump trailer and then you can you know park yeah. it wherever you want and lift up the back there's a back flap yeah, not right just out. the doors and it slides right out nicely and that's another beautiful. thing so like if I you go to a, a big box stores thing. and buy mulch you basically put it right where you're going to put it and that's it yeah, so, another way to save yeah. money too, because you don't have to money, time, energy. delivery fees, all that. But most stuff. importantly, your body. Another caveat to owning a dump trailer is possibly lending it to other people. Instead of having it at our house all the time, we could have it on someone else's site. It can sit there, be used, and make money for us, which is even better. Right. So it's something and, we're considering. And another thing, because <clears throat> in Rhode Island we have a bunch of seasons, and. Um, in the winter storms, people do snow removal, yep. which is which is expensive because a lot of these you know big parking lots, big plazas, they need the snow cleared versus pushed into a corner. Like they right. have to get snow removal it versus piles snow plowing. <laughs> so if I can get into that a little bit, yeah, that's an even more money. You know, yeah. could but, be great. Yeah. So all in all, um, this was a great investment for us great. as yeah. um, home renovators and business owners and we felt like it was something that not only we could capitalize on for ourselves but we could potentially rent out and this will start to make money for us and easily pay itself off after oh, yeah. a couple of loads so if you're interested in getting a dump trailer yourself i hope this video helped you we're gonna yeah. go clear out the rest of the house throw it in the dumpster and yeah. we're in our dump trailer and uh, you know, reach out with any questions that you may have that if you're thinking about buying a dump trailer, we could um, give you some information that really helped us. And um, you know, definitely check the description with the links that we're sharing. Very useful things and really, I, don't, I wouldn't want to use 
the dump trailer without those because it's just it's safety and usability you know? also we are going to have a link to our blog post which is going to describe how we actually fixed up the trailer a little bit it was in great condition but we just wanted to customize it make yeah. it match our truck make it look more our style so we're going to do a couple before and afters and descriptions in our blog so definitely check that out well, see you on the next one we always so we bought tools I don't know. So, I don't know. Just like and describe. Like and describe.